All right, YouTube, David Harry here. Now, are you sick and tired messing around with tiny little screens on your cameras and stuff when you're going out and doing filming and vlogging and things? Well, stop doing that and do this instead. <laughs> Look at this, right? This is me smartphone, or more precisely, an Android smartphone with USB-C on it, which is being used as a video monitor for my Sony ZV-1 right now. And uh, let me just quickly go over this. What it is, right, I'm out and about just doing some shots for another video on my main channel. So there'll be a link to the main channel video uh, in the description and at the end of this video and stuff. Go and watch it because there'll be a lot more detail about what this is that I've got here. Anyway, what I have here is this device, which is the Axoon M1. I'm on my GoPro here. I'm not too sure how good this pitch is going to be. So this is the Axoon M1. And what it is, it's a bit of hardware, right? which allows you to like plug it into your phone and then to plug an H a HDMI into the side of it. So as you hopefully might be able to see there, there's a HDMI input on the side of the M1 and then it's got USB-C there which plugs into the smartphone. Now basically what happens when you do that and after you've downloaded its software, it turns your smartphone into a HDMI monitor. And to be honest, it, it's not just for using on cameras. I've been using it on my Xbox and stuff, just testing things and whatnot. Anyways, what I'll do, let me flip over to my Sony ZV-1, which just give me one second let's pretend i haven't done a take yet oh let me let me see oh yes oh look see i can see someone in the background let me get rid of them right they're blotted out now by 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 my big fat head <laughs> right just a really quick crash cut into here right what it is i've just been playing back the very recording that you're now watching and i've just realized you can obviously play things back on the screen look at this How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I forgot to say this during the video, so I've just crashed it in there. So yes, you can actually all use all this as your video playback system as well, which obviously thinking about it, why wouldn't you be able to do that? I just didn't realize that I should have said it during this take. <laughs> anyway, so what I've just done there anyway, is just done a little bit of framing and stuff. Let's see, hold on. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's a dog there. Hello. You're not gonna go and pee on me bag, are you? <laughs> Sorry, I just every time I come into the park here, there's always dogs start walking around and whatnot, and then they come over and start sniffing at your things, right? And there was one day this dog came over and pissed all over me kit bag. Honestly, that is not a lie. Anyways, yeah, sorry, I've lost my train of thought there because I always go off talking to dogs in the park. What a weird bugger I am. Right, so what I'm doing here, obviously, is just like giving a practical example of me walking around with my ZV-1, which is nothing unusual within itself, obviously. You know, this is what people do in the vlogging. However, as hopefully we would have caught it from the GoPro before I started the take, I just made sure using the phone that my framing was absolutely spot on. Now, it could be argued that even with the ZV-1, that its small screen is like big enough for that type of activity, as it were. However, I have to say I do struggle sometimes with the screen on the ZV-1, and not just because of its size, because usually I wear glasses that are in my pocket, as we can see here. I wear glasses, but on camera, I, I, I have to take them off like more often than not because of like glare and stuff like that. So unfortunately, I kind of get lost with the screen sometimes. But on top of that as well, the screen can go quite dim or look dim, you know, depending upon the uh, the light and stuff. However, if you use a nice bright smartphone, you've definitely got a bright screen to play with there as well, which is actually a real big deal. Let me get a bit closer back to the uh, GoPro here. Yeah, so basically just a bit of a quick take here just to give you an overview of what this thing's all about. In fact, let me just carry on walking and talking because I love doing that, right? <laughs> the other thing that this thing does as well, it records as well, right? So you can record onto your phone with this now as to how useful that's going to be if you're if you're already plugged into a camera which is going to be way better recording quality not too sure maybe it's going to be used for a safety although you can only go up to 20 megabits in 1080 for the recording 
However, I've been recording some gameplay off me off me Xbox and me PS5. Seriously, using my smartphone to do that. I'm actually going to do a video about that on another channel because I don't think that's ever been done before properly. So yeah, I'll get into a bit of that. But the other thing as well though, because it has that recording capability, the one thing that it does do, which I think is going to be massive for a lot of people, it actually streams as well. So if you don't have like say streaming ability within certain things, um, which is very unlikely when you're outdoors, say like, I, I mean, I don't even know, are there any video cameras that can do like live streaming from the camera itself? There might be, and if there is, I'm not entirely sure if I know that there are any. You can probably do it wired up or going wireless to a computer, then the computer does it. I'm not entirely sure, like over USB or something. However, with this setup as it stands right now, I could have, if I if I wanted to, have done a live stream with this right now. So basically, the phone turns into like not just the ingest unit and the encoder, but it will also do an uplink as well for live streaming. So I could see that might actually be a big deal for certain people. I mean, you could also argue at that point and say, well, just do that on a phone because most phones can do that. So use the phone's camera, do your live stream that way. However, you know, I, I know we've got like really good phones these days and stuff, but let's be honest, the video capabilities of a phone don't match like, you know, a camcorder and especially, you know, something like a ZV-1. I think this is a boss little camera. So you can now turn your ZV-1 into a truly proper portable streaming setup as well. I know there are other ways of doing it, but not quite as small and maybe as elegant as this. I'll have to try and do it um, like an example of that as well at some point. I'll definitely do examples of the recording capabilities into the phone. That'll give us an idea as well of what the encode quality would be like for the streaming and such. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is shoot off because I've actually come out to do pickup shots for another video, obviously, for this. So one last quick look here. What is my GoPro screen switched off? So I'm not too sure whether I've got this frame correctly, but there we go. I think we've gotten a really good idea as to what this Axoon M1 is all about. Now, let us know in the comments as well if there's anything very specific that you might want to see with this setup and uh, if there's anything maybe that I've not thought about doing with it and then I'll most certainly have a crack at it if I've got the time and stuff like that and don't forget go and check the main video out on me on like me or the main channel as it were and that'll give you a bit more detail and a bit you know a lot more close-ups and stuff to do with the M1 itself anywho I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now